The downward path is there waiting for your ass. Many people have taken that road with the best of intentions, not knowing where they were going. Personally, I aim right straight for it. Bad company has brought me to this place, and I'm proud of it. I was talking with a bunch of people before the show, you know, like, I used to perform with a large ensemble, man. There'd be from seven to 13 pieces. Yeah, I had a horn section, man. Sax player's part of the horn section. But if you want, I'll mention him specifically. Hell of a sax player. Groupies. Yes. Limousines meeting me at the airport. Man. Groupies. Drug dealers in the dressing room. Groupies. And I, I'm a dummy. I decided I wanted to go learn how to make violins. <laughs> I got news, man, there are no violin maker groupies. <laughs> Spent four years doing that shit, man. I'm back out here earning a living, man. And I'm fucking alone. I don't want to get excited about this shit. I started to get... I started to get a little worked up, man. I am not... You know, a lot of performers get up and all they do is bitch you, you know. I'm... And then sometimes I get talk to people think I'm political because, you know, I complain about the economy. Reagan thinks it's cool. Ain't nobody he knows hurting, you know. <laughs> you ever hear Baby Rebozo complain about, you know? It's, it's cool with them, man. I don't know why. I wasn't doing so wonderful when times were good, but I was doing well enough. I mean, I, I, I got away with some shit in my time. I lived my life like I was a millionaire, I did. I didn't have no million dollars, but people, I had enough so I didn't care. One time I would have taken all of you people out to have a real good time. I would have bought the high-priced liquor, illegal vegetation, and wine. But you know, when I started to slide, folks, I slid so low. I lost all that money and found no place to go, man. I, I swore right then, if I ever got my hand wrapped around a hundred dollar bill again, I was going to squeeze that sucker so goddamn tight make Ulysses S. Grant grin. Because nobody knows you. In your pocket. Not a penny, child. And if you go for help for your good friends, sucker, you ain't got any. But you know, once you get back on your feet again, every Tom, Dick, and Harriet you ever met in your life, come gather around and be your long lost friend. Listen to me. You might think I'm exaggerating, but you can cast away all doubt. The girl you brought with you ain't gonna use you when you're down and out. Who bought the ticket? <laughs> Oh, I'd love to go bowling, Harry, but John's got tickets tonight for the uh, Paul and Oates concert. And if she bought it, it's the same thing. Man. And I know what I'm talking about, man. I was born hard luck. I was born the last second, the last minute, the last day, the last hour, the last week, the last month. The... I almost didn't make it, man. I... <laughs> I remember the morning I was born, there was three of us lying in the bed. Mom was in the kitchen fixing some food, and she says, Papa, pick out the one that you like. We'll drown the rest of them. <laughs> Listen to me. I won't get worked up about this shit, but I want to tell you a little bit of truth. I have been rich, and I have been poor. Rich is better. <laughs> Believe that shit, man. Nobody knows you. 
Lord, if you're down in hell. Even your relatives start to treat you like somebody else's stepchild. They say, she's like, David, darling, why don't you go and stay with your other cousins for just a little while? Nobody even wants to hear rumors about you. Lord, if you're down and out. If you happen to see a friend of yours, he's working, going home with a weekly pay. If he spots you first, he's going to turn his ass right around, go home another way. I know what I'm talking about because I come from New York goddamn city. And good people, that town gets cold. But that has never prevented the landlord from walking directly up to my door. You understand the temperature in the streets of New York could get down to 150 degrees below. But if you ain't got the cold cash in your hot little hand in those very same streets, you'll go. And you could be deaf, dumb, nearsighted, so bad you couldn't see. You could have lost the use of every extremity upon your body from three inches above the knee. You could be suffering from tuberculosis, mononucleosis, herpes, the Czechoslovakian flu. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that, man. If I stand up fast like that, I'll pass out. I just go, I mean, great God, when you're down and out.